Hello, welcome back. This is Jerry. Today we're going to continue our tutorial on DD2 Express. On today's session, we're going to set up a database and a screen. We're going to create a table and define its structure and insert data in the table. Let us first define what is a database. When you hear the word database, it's not just about data or information storage. It may contain also objects such as schemas, tables, views, sequences, stored procedure, user-defined functions, or triggers. Don't worry about these terms. We will define each as we go along with the lesson. To have a concrete example of how a database function or how a database works, we will have a, a sample database. This is a database of Hope Incorporated, and we're going to set this up, and this would be the diagram of how our database will look like. So the first thing that we need to do is how do we create a database? We're going to create the database with this following syntax. Let us launch DB2, all programs, DB2. Command line process. Let us now create our database hope. You just need to wait at least a little of five minutes to create the database. We have now created our database. So let us create or let us open our database, but how do we open? database hope. In opening a database, we use the following syntax. You will notice upon connection to the database, the current version of DB2 installed is listed with the user ID Jerry, that's me, and the database name hope. Any statement that contains no error has a notification command completed successfully. The next thing we need to do is to create a schema. But what is an schema? A schema is a namespace. A database may contain more than one schema. The default schema is the system user ID. On this case, the user ID that we are using is Jerry. What would be the syntax? in creating a schema. So we were going to use this syntax. So the name of our schema would be uh, store and authorization the user ID is Jerry. On some situation, you may drop the authorization syntax if you own or, the, or you are the one using the database. The default authorization is the user ID. Or simply put, you may use create schema, then the name of schema. To check if your schema is successfully created and logged, type the following script. Under this, you would see store created under schema name on our schemata table. Our next task is to create a table. But what is a table? So on your screen, you would see an example of tables. It can consist of rows and columns. What is a column? Column contains data with the same data type. When we talk about data type, you, you need to set our, the, size, the size of the of the column and you need to define if it will hold uh, a numeric value, a text, an image, or video, date, or time. Example of data types are bar char, char, decimal, integer, date, club, and blob. We will use most of this as we go along with our tutorial. Row is 
is defined as a set of values for each column. You may think that a record is a particular instance of a row in a table. This would be our syntax in creating a table. So here we need to set the schema name, which is store, and the table name, and the name of the columns we're going to set on the table. On our example, we're going to create the table department. So this would be the syntax of creating a table department defining its column name. Let us type. We have now created our department table. Here we explicitly identified the schema name, store, on where department table will be created. Bar chart 3 on depth, depth code and bar chart 20 of depth name are variable data type with a size of 3 and 20 characters. Column set with bar chart data type can contain combinations of letters, numbers, and symbols. We set depth code as primary key. Primary key should not contain a null value. That is why we set the not, not null or the unknown state expression. Note that when a column is set as primary key, no same value shall exist when inserting a record with a specific column. Primary key sets uniqueness of row in an entire table. Now let us describe or list the structure of a table department. How do we do that? So to display the table structure, we have the following syntax. Next, we insert data into our table. So we're going to follow this syntax. Here we identify the schema name, the table name, the column name, and the values we're going to insert for each column. This is the particular data that we're going to insert on the depth code and on the depth name. How do we check if the following row is already inserted on our table? We use the syntax in displaying the table rows for a specific table. Here we identify the column name and the name of the schema and the table name. Let's do that. So this is now the content of our table. You may use also asterisk if you're going to list all the depart all the column names of the table. So in our previous example, we have used a schema name every time we issue a command. But this time, we're going to set the default schema so we don't need to specify again and again the schema name. So to do that, we use this syntax. So in effect, if you're going to list the table, You don't need to specify anymore the schema name because it's already set. You just 
include the table name. How about if we're going to insert multiple rows in a table? So this would be the additional uh, data that we're going to insert into table department. To do that, we have to follow this syntax. As you could see, the name of the column names are no longer included. We can immediately insert the value. Again, all data must be enclosed with a single quote specifying that this is a text. Let's do that. You could see here that a set of rows is separated by a set of parentheses. Now we display the content of table department. So we have now eight records inserted in department table. Previously, we have identified a primary key on our table. On this case, our primary key was set on the depth code. Let us review that the primary key set uniqueness of a row. It means it does not allow duplication and it does not accept a null value or a blank entry. Let us test. Let us say we're going to insert IT again on the table. As you could see here, because we have defined our department table, our dev code set as primary key, any duplication of that particular value will be avoided by that duplication was not allowed by the system. So if you check again the content of our table, it's the same. Hi, Jerry here. Thanks for watching. If you like to see the script of the video presented, please click the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Buy the book for more challenging exercises with solutions. Visit our Facebook and Twitter account. Bye!